Hello my lovely lads and ladies, I hope everyone has been doing well lately, I have been quite sick as you can probably hear in my voice, so I do apologise for any coughing or anything that does or doesn't happen in the video, but um, now I'm bringing you a brand new series called Remothered, it's out early access on Steam, yeah, not sure what it's about, um, didn't really look too much into it, I know it's a survival horror, so this is going to be hilarious to watch, and um, yeah, so here we go, hope for the best. Right, there's the controls. Oh goodness me, walk, uh, run, uh, oh god, I'm gonna forget these. Crouch, flashlight, interact, dodge, what? oh goodness me. I think a lot of these I'm gonna have to sort of try and, try and remember. We'll see how it goes. Lost child, Celeste, Celeste, Felton? I'm loving this music though. Some creepy park with no children. Okay. It's the Naruto swing. Oh, smoking's bad, kids. Don't do it. Don't have something jump out of the back seat. Aw, what a cute little kid. I hope it's her daughter. That'd be pretty sweet. God, that was a kind of jumpy title there. Just right at you. Oh, goodness me. Chris Darrell brought you this game. Oh, goodness me. It would start off in a creepy, creepy wood pathway, wouldn't it? Feels like it's gonna rain again. Oh shit. Oh. What were the controls? Oh. Ah, okay, so that that changes direction. I gotcha. Right. Um is oh, okay, that is run. Right, let's go. Oh god, I run so hilariously bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, not that way. Okay then. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a spider! <laughs> it's that kind of dainty run. <laughs> there's a spider on my back! Ooh, it's moving by itself. Why is she so out of breath? Fucking hell. Get some cardio, love. It's like creepy ass fucking sounds. Swings moving by itself. Why are there tires in a child's playground? That is hardly safe. Anything in the dumpsters? No. Can I go this way? I feel like it's not gonna let me. Ooh, interact. Lost child. 
missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Sorry, I've got a soother in my mouth. <laughs> Last seen 4pm recreation ground in something, something, something. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years old, light blonde hair. Her hair does not look light blonde. Blue eyes, at last, something, something. Wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes and tressed hair. Persons, something. Any information are requested to call 74. Well, even if you did find her, you can fucking get her back to her family. There's no mobile number. Ooh, creepy gates. Can I go through? Yeah? No? There's a dog somewhere. Just chilling. What does that say? Sears. Ooh, cut here, cut here. Sears on screen. October 31st, 1971. So this is set in the old times then, I guess. Um, is there a way in? Can I like climb? Window? Can I get through? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it is this way. Follow the dog. Look at those hips though. <laughs> She's so out of breath. I'm walking. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Creepy angel baby. Oh. <sighs> Fuck that place. That looks horrifying. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, he's not here. Let's go. Let's go. Bye-bye. We're off now. Is he gonna let me in? I guess I have to open the door. Oh, God. Oh, God. This doesn't look cr- Ooh! My fucking God, that music. Oh, go inside and meet Dr. Felton. Okay. Cool. Um, some oranges. Anything I can use as a weapon out here? Some neighbor's dog. Shut up! Anything around here? So like a peephole. Can I can I go pat the dog? I wanna go see the dog. Mmm, can I go down this way? Oh that looking around though. It's like she knows there's something. Oh Can I can I go up the ladders? No, okay. They're just there for atmosphere. Have a look. Ooh. Gas can, some chairs, another ladder. Why did I pick such a dodgy fucking way to come in? Oh god, it's a weeping angel. Oh god. Please don't. Please don't fucking, like, jump out. I am not equipped to handle fucking weeping angels. I might actually just cry. <laughs> Please. It's a basket. I just happened to pick the right way, didn't I? I kind of don't want to play. It's already scaring me. I'm not good at horror games, guys. Oh my goodness, she is a smokeaholic. She just had one. Calm down, love. Oh. Yes. Good evening, Miss am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom. And as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Santa Margarita Institute. I know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? 
I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Oh, Thank goodness. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Oh god, is he gonna try and kill me because I smoke? The underlying in meaning of this game is do not smoke. It's an anti-smoke campaign. Campaign. Oh god, here we go. I am loving the detail on the game though. Like, look at this. Look at all this detail. She looks dodgy as fuck. Anything to look at? I can only walk. Hmm. I can't run. Um, okay. Please, this way. I don't like how slow I'm walking. <sighs> Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad it's this an anti-smoke campaign. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Looking like Are a drunk person. Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. Oh my god, why am I, I walking so slowly? But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. Hmm, that'll drive anyone mad. I get you. I guess it's understandable why he starts killing people, I'm assuming. It is a survival horror. Someone's gonna start killing. Although she's walking kind of dodgy, maybe it's her. Ooh, what's up those stairs? Ooh, okay. This way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. She is dodgy looking as fuck, man. That nurse, look at her. Coming to kill you. Loading screen. Oh. I still can't run. Okay. Let's go nosy in his drawers. How to be a nosy bitch. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosagallo, closes danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicated for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October the 2nd, 1971. The Rosa Gallo Farm, Pride of the Gallows, closed due to suspected contamination. Um, okay. It has been reported that many inf... Wait, what? Oh, it has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, her husband... The notary Richard Felton, professor and company partner Albert Elias Wyman are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused. It's really hard to talk with a soother in my mouth. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining convo convent. Oh, hello. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis, photosensitivity. Ooh, he doesn't like the light. Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous sets from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the order of the physicians today. 
Wyman stated that he sh was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth noticing that Feltman himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phinoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious Medicine Award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even the Felton's house, which was used as a location for product distribution, the activities ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. The authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Ooh, there's another side. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, what does that say? You damn son of a bitch, see what they write about me on the news? You want to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will, starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you got balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. I see. Hmm. Seems like a charming, uh... Oh, hello. That's gonna be my face in about two minutes. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equal to those ants eating each other. But, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please, sit down. Okay, he looks dodgier than the nurse. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So, you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left, and you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words... In a few words, they didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. Nice. It seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed. 1958. Yes, some There's friends something and I going on contracted here. the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Anoxyl? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Hmm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No. My Mr. Daughter. Felton, 
What has really happened to you? I'm so confused. How about the off the record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate. I don't have the strength for this now. I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Oh, shit. Well, Miss Reed. Oh, shit. That is your I've been found out. Your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Oh, God. What a, I'm gonna make a terrible mistake and get like killed by some crazy man. You know the way. Bye. How do you even? How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Bitch. Handy umbrella. Oh, no, that was Gloria's. Okay. She's walking like such a drunk lady. Or is that just me? Don't do it. You should just leave. How great this is how stupid people get killed. Why wouldn't she just take the key home? Why why leave it there? Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it, you stupid bitch. So she's basically trespassing. I kind of don't have sympathy right now. Oh my god. I, I don't want to do this. However, I will continue investigating the house in the next episode. Leave a like or a comment if you are enjoying this and want to see more. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, bye guys. Bye.